Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and I wanted to give you some of my first impressions of the Great Journey update. Is it a flop? Is it a banger? I've been playing for a couple hours, and uh, I've been playing the third person firefight mode as well as the Delta playlist. And I definitely have my thoughts and opinions, but overall I would say this is definitely a positive addition to the game. Some things do seem a little bit wonky. I will say that the connection for the Delta playlist that I was in was not great. I definitely had way higher ping than what I normally do. So I don't know what's going on and with that if it's just got like super high skill based matchmaking in it because there's no like sliding or movement stuff or if it's because uh, nobody's online yet. I will say that the store seems a little aggressive this time around. If you want all of the uh, new armor sets, it's like 30 bucks. Me personally, I don't really care about like Helio Skrill and stuff like that, but uh, that Halo 2 Chief, man, looks, looks pretty good, looks pretty good. I did really enjoy the third person firefight mode. Uh, it really feels great in Halo Infinite for whatever reason. I don't know if there's like more aim assist or aim magnetism or however, you know, they adjusted it and balanced it, but I think that it feels great. But if you follow Accelerate on Twitter, he uh, definitely posted a clip where you can shoot around corners in third person mode. Do not bring this into multiplayer. And I kind of agree with him if you can do that, because uh, when you can look around corners and stuff like that and abuse it, it's uh, that's not good. But I think that it's a fun way to play a firefight, at least, you know, the PVE side of things. You get to see what your Spartan looks like. They look great. Honestly, Halo Infinite is a beautiful game, in my opinion, even on, like, the lowest settings. As for the Delta playlist, I'm not gonna lie. I play on mouse and keyboard, and again, like, the connection was not great, but, uh... I definitely was getting gunning down by people on like controller using that automatic weapon when it felt like my stuff was just like I just didn't have the same aim or anything. So I was getting absolutely destroyed. I will say though that it almost feels natural that there's no sprinting. Like I didn't really find myself trying to sprint or even uh, slide or anything like that after like the first game. It, it felt super natural and that's scary to me. I don't know what that says, you know, honestly, like, uh, I don't know if it says that I just played so much, you know, classic Halo that it, my brain is wired that way, but let me know in the comments down below if you've gotten to play that mode and how you feel about the third person mode. There is a Halo Waypoint article talking about the upcoming operations. There's two of them that they've named so far. Well, so far as in, you know, they're, they don't have like graphics and stuff like that to go with them. The first is Snowbound, and that will be December 3rd through January 6th. And then we get Brute Force, which is January 7th through February 3rd. There are some leaks already on Twitter of like all the stuff that's coming in that, especially like the armor and everything. And I won't lie, it looks pretty good. There does seem to be some quality of life improvements, including improved stability for Halo Infinite on Xbox and PC and reduced stuttering when running Halo Infinite on a PC using a CPU that supports core parking capabilities. So hopefully if you're on a newer PC, uh, the game feels a lot better for you. I won't lie, I was experiencing like massive frame drops uh, in Firefight, but I mean, who knows? But I'm gonna leave a link to that uh, Waypoint article because there's a ton in the patch notes that uh, might not necessarily be like super cool for everybody to, to look at, but if you're interested, make sure you go check it out. In fact, uh, also there's a customization thing where the weapon coatings now are shown correctly on all the weapon cores. So Neon Steel and Packed Punch, like those were, Coatings that I absolutely adore on the shotgun, and now they're available um, to put on everything, and it actually works, so that's super cool. There were some sandbox challenges. I have not gotten to play with the sidekick a ton, but I have used the commando, and it definitely does feel different. But overall, I think this is a pretty good update. I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty happy with where it landed. These things only last a month now anyways until we get another batch of new content, new maps, and stuff like that, and I feel like I heard them talk about on the live stream that, you know, going forward, there's going to be more robust content with uh, each operation that comes out. I am choking to death. Jeez, oh, Pete. Anyways, that there's going to be more content and stuff like that. And maybe this is like what we can expect going forward. I don't know about new weapons and stuff like that, but we'll see what happens. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys around the ring. Peace.